So we, um, we listen to the story, A Snowflake, A Winter Story, and where did the snowflake finally find a place to sit? I can hear your answer. Everybody, every, everywhere where the snowflake went, everybody said no, and they gave a reason why the snowflake, you're too cold, you t you're too sharp, you're too wet. Um, so it was actually the cat, the cat that said yes. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, so I want you to open your spiral notebook to a blank page, and we're going to write and illustrate a sentence in response to this story that we just read, okay? So at the top of the page, you're gonna start at the very top. You're gonna to write this sentence, okay? And you're gonna start with the word A, capital letter A, okay, just like that. Now right here, you're gonna put a finger space and we're gonna write the word snowflake. It is a compound word. It's got two words pushed together, but you can do it with me. So snowflake starts with S. N O and then a W. A snow, and then you have to keep going. Snowflake is one word, so you have to write a f O A K and then an E. There's a silent E. A snowflake, you're gonna love this. Okay, so that's the beginning of your sentence. Then down here on this line, sat, we're gonna write the word sat. S -a -t, sat, okay, then a finger space. On, O, N, on, okay. You're gonna write Another, an A right here. A snowflake sat on A. Now that one's gonna be lowercase because it's in the middle of the sentence. And then down here, last word, cat. K, A, T. And you're going to put a period at the end. A snowflake sat on a cat. So go ahead and finish writing that sentence. Make sure you're putting a finger space in between words and a period on the end. Okay, then you're gonna join me. We're gonna draw the snowflake on the cat. So for me, what's easier is drawing the cat first. So I have a, the cat in position. So for to do a cat, start by drawing a circle, okay? All right. Then the cat kind of has triangle ears. So one up like that. Over here, I'm gonna do another triangle over that, okay? It's already starting to look like a cat. I'm gonna give two circles for eyes right there. Okay, go ahead and do that. Now for the nose, I also do another circle in the middle and I fill it in, okay? Then here, I go one way and make like a letter J, and then right next to it I come again and I make like a backwards J, like two hooks coming out of there facing both directions, and that way you get a cat mouth. Okay, now equally important is a whisker, whisker, whisker. I put three whiskers on that side, and then one, two, three, there's my matching whiskers on the other side. Okay. The body for the cat is gonna be an oval. So you just come down here, make an oval. Okay, there's your body. For the, here's some arms up here. Okay. And I give the cat some claws just straight lines coming out. Then down here, I'm gonna give my cat some legs. And again, they have claws on the ends of their feet. There's one more thing you have to do for a cat. 
A cat has a tail, so I give the cat a little tail. Okay. All right, so finish drawing your cat. Okay, then there's a, the snowflake that sat on the cat. So to make the snowflake, okay, I do a line. You can draw it up from the cat's head. Remember, it's going to sit on the cat. So a line, and then you're going to cross that line to make it look like a T. Then a slanted line, like you're putting it, and another slanted line, like you're doing a T, a T, and then an X and an X. Okay, and if you want to get really fancy, you can put little circles on the end. No two snowflakes ever look alike. And if you want to get super fancy, you can make little slanted lines coming out of that snowflake. Okay, and there's your little snowflake then. So that, that your sentence matches your picture. A snowflake sat on a cat. Okay. I really like the story of that little snowflake. I hope you enjoyed it too. Okay. When you're finished, you don't need to color. We're just doing it with pencil today. Give yourself your exit ticket. Close your spiral notebook. Make sure you're um, saving these because I'm going to be. I want to um, be able to look through those. Okay. This is your portfolio. And then you can put that away. All right, thank you for joining me for this comprehension activity today, boys and girls.